Welcome to the second episode of Time for Wine. Tonight we will be comparing four interesting Pinot Noirs, my favorite variety, and it's also used in the making of bubbly. Janelle, I love Pinot Noir. It's an elegant red wine with soft tannins and wonderful cherry berry aromas. What do you think? Absolutely. You, you mentioned the soft and elegant. I always say Pinot Noir is a grape variety that is a gentleman. Very soft and elegant on the outside, powerful on the inside. People normally, if you look at the glasses in front of us, can you see how light the color seems to be? And then you go, okay, this is a nice berry juice, light wine, yet there's a hidden strength and power inside these wines. They can mature. Like the wine, the first wine that we have here is a Donny De Vette. And Nature in Concert. 2009. That, 2009. And yet, if you, let's just smell the aroma. Now, do you pick up your berries? Mm. You notice them. Yes. Yet, if you look at the edge, you can see that slight browning already happening there. Mm -hmm. But it's holding on to its use. Now, berry aromas are useful aromas. Pinot Noir has this characteristic. They become more savory. They become more mm, meaty savory. when they age. Okay, you say earthy. And that makes it them so attractive. And yet, this is the reason why so many of the foods are created around these earthy aromas. Okay. I see we've paired it with poached pear and, and gorgonzola puff pastry. Yes. It's a, I know that we're tasting the old, oldest vintage today here. And I just thought something creamy as a gorgonzola, but this is a very soft, creamy gorgonzola. And these pears are poached in Pinot Noir. So oh, wow. yes, that is a double, and then there's a beetroot relish on top. Now Pinot Noir is originally from Burgundy. Originally from Burgundy, and this is the grape that gave birth to the concept of terroir. Pinot Noir. Okay. Explain Thousands that. of years ago in Burgundy. That means that the soil will have an effect on what the grape will taste like in the end. So they're very sensitive to the origin. They're very sensitive to the soil, their location, and temperature or climate. Okay, we're well, wonderful. Let's have a taste. Okay. Mm. So now we start with the Summer Ridge 2011. That's correct. Summer Ridge is situated in the upper Himmel and Arda Valley. Mm -hmm. So next time you go and visit your whales, just turn up into the valley and go and drink and taste and marvel around those wonderful estates. And this, I must tell you, is the next area. Next to Hermanus, yes. That's correct. It's, it's up in that area on the southern coast. Mm -hmm. And um, this was the area which actually had very successful wines, Pinot Noir because it's cooler. cooler. This is a very fickle grape. It's very sensitive to heat, you know, and, and therefore that this valley is absolutely Pinot Noir Valley. Of course they grow in other areas, but then it must be cooler slopes. So mm -hmm. we have hidden pockets that's got gems. Let's smell okay, it. Okay, and why do we... Yeah, it's still got a beautiful fruit on there, quite intense. And yeah, I'd like you to focus on the, on the great, as I said to you, powerful, powerfulness of the spine tannin. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yes, I taste it, and that's why we've we've um, chosen a mushroom strudel, wild Perfect. mushroom strudel, absolutely, to Perfect match, match. the heavy tannins. Okay. Perfect. And now we have two wines left: one from France, Burgundy, and one from the Upper Yemel and Order Falay, South Africa. So Bourgogne and New Newton Johnson family vineyards. Yes. So let's do them together. We must do that together okay. because here, essentially, it will show you exactly what terroir does. Now, Lynn, pick them up together. Compare the colour. You can oh, see yes. they're exactly the same vintage. And see that Newton Johnson is already showing slight Age. tinge of the garnet mm. coming through, Age. whereas Bourgogne. Now, Bourgogne, Burgundy is the birthplace of this grape. And there is a mixture of the vineyards here, La Vigne de Bourgogne from Bouchard mm Perrefis. -hmm. And here is absolutely the home of the Newton Johnson family and their vineyards in the upper Yemel and Arda Valley. So we've got the, bl the blend of the vineyards yes. in both. Now, if you smell the Bouchard uh, Bourgogne, can you see it's slightly shy? Yes. It's not showing so many berries. It's a clear of the nor northern And then hemisphere. there's that hint of perfume coming mm. through fruit yes. on the Newton Johnson. It's lovely perfume. And then the dryness of the burgundy, your gentle tannins, and the fruit and ripeness of the southern hemisphere. Yes, if you do them Newton together, Johnson, it's actually now quite you understand how sensitive noticeable. Yes. terroir is, and the, uh, that's essentially what it's all about. Yes. What are we pairing this with? Mm. Please, you explain the one. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the bourgogne is obviously with duck yes. uh, on goot, 
And then the, we've got a beautiful California roll. Spicy mm. tuna. Spicy tuna. Yes. With our Newton Johnson. Why did you choose a spicy tuna? Well, I think this wine is powerful enough. And there's always this umami that's oh, present yes. with the soya. Sweet and sour. And I believe that goes so well with the Pinot Noir. I always say, why do people drink white wine with uh, sushi if you can have Pinot Noir? Mm. It's a perfect wine. Wonderful. Okay, so we have guests arriving and I can't wait to go through the wines with them. Cheers. Cheers. I enjoyed it quite a lot. Um, I've never drank uh, Pinot Noir before, so the first thing is I was surprised by the colour. Um, it wasn't as dark as I expected, but the flavour that came out was actually quite nice. It's quite enjoyable, and she enjoyed it. She doesn't enjoy red wine. It was great, thanks. Uh, like my mate over there, I've never drank Pinot Noir before, and uh, the individual pairing certainly brought out the flavour of the wine, and uh, I've become, I think, a convert, you could put it down. Today's event was hosted by Brooklyn Mall. For more events, visit pretoria.co.za. Catch us on the next time for wine. Cheers! Mm -hmm.